Hello students. In this problem, we're going to find the volume of a volcano. Now the volcano is the surface bounded by this expression here. This is z equals 1 over x squared plus y squared to the 24th power. So that's uh, this surface here. And then it intersects with the cylinder, x squared plus y squared equals 1. Now remember, z is arbitrary. So um, the circle um, spans all the way up the z-axis. And then where they intersect, that's the top of the volcano. And uh, this volcano here, this curve here, this volcano has infinite extent. So it goes infinitely in all directions out there. So we will end up with an improper integral when we calculate the volume. So that's uh, outside this cylinder and inside um, this surface here. We're going to calculate that volume. Now I'm going to convert it to cylindrical coordinates. So that means um, r squared will equal x squared plus y squared. And since uh, theta is a ranging spanning over um, the whole plane, theta will be between 0 and 2 pi. All right, so here we go. Now recall the volume is a triple integral over the uh, surface the solid surface, mm -hmm. um, and dv. Now the, the three integral signs, you can think of those as a triple sum of the little volume elements. And so that's why um, that is the volume of w. I'm not going to go into detail with that. Um, I'm just going to assume that you have that knowledge, and I'm just going to proceed with the problem. So this is the volume of this um, uh, solid surface, which um, once again is outside the cylinder and underneath this volcano-shaped thing. So we're going to find the volume of the volcano. I'm going to convert this integral to cylindrical coordinates. And to do that, um, remember, in cylindrical coordinates, um, that would be dz, then r dr d theta. Uh, since we know theta is spanning between 0 and 2 pi, I'll just fill that in. And now I have to find the limits of integration for z, that would be this integral, and for r, that would be this integral. Um, let's see. I have x squared plus y squared is going to be greater than 1 for the outside of the cylinder, so that means r squared will be greater than 1, because r squared is x squared plus y squared. And then um, we know that z will be greater than 0, because this surface will never be below 0. So z is greater than 0, so that will give us a lower limit for integration. And then I'm going to substitute x squared plus y squared to be r squared. So we're going to end up with an, a 1 over r to the 48th power. So those will um, take care of these limits of integration. Now, um, z is uh, greater than 0, and z is less than 1 over r to the 48th power, because uh, laws of exponents. Now, r squared is greater than 1. That means r is greater than 1. But since this surface has infinite extent, it is actually going off to infinity in all directions. So the r coordinate is bounded greater than 1, but less than infinity. And so we're going to have an improper integral here. Um, that's the setup. Um, now you can stop here and try to figure out that integral, or you can um, stay with me and I'll just uh, quickly go through uh, evaluating this integral. Okay, to calculate the volume, we have to calculate this triple integral. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to integrate with respect to z. So I have a z here, and then my limits of integration are going from 0 to 1 over r to the 48th power. I'm going to um, substitute those in for z, so I have 1 over r to the 48th power minus 0, so that would be 1 over r to the 48th power, or r to the minus uh, 48th power. Uh, I'll simplify, um, multiplying that expression by r, and I end up with 1 over r to the 47th power. So that's r to the minus 47, if you will. If I add 1, that'll give me an r to the minus 46, or 1 over r to the 46th here. And then um, I divide by the exponent, so that is uh, 1 over minus 46. And then this is an improper integral, so I'm going to let r go to infinity. And my limits of integration were infinity and 1, so um, if, I put a one in, if I put a 1 in there, I get a 1 there. So I'll evaluate this limit. This expression here, this thing here, just goes to 0. And uh, I'm left with a minus 1 and a minus uh, 1 uh, over 46, so that gives me a 1 over 46. And then I just simply uh, integrate with respect to theta, so that gives me theta, and then I have 2 pi. 2 pi over 46 is, um, so I end up with a 2 pi over 46, 
but then the 2 and the 46 cancel to give me a pi over 23. That's it. All right, good luck.